Today, another quarantine workout challenge. And if you were here last week for the 600 workout and you've come back today, well, then you either haven't learned your lesson or you didn't do it at all. In which case, what's the deal, man? You just want to see me suffer? There's really nothing that perfectly replicates what we do in pro wrestling and the toll it takes in our body. So my purpose with these conditioning challenges are not to train you in the most optimal way, although you will get some benefits with cardiovascular and muscular endurance and obviously coordination. But uh, for me, these are ways to keep you engaged and to keep you consistent, which is the number one most important thing with any training program. And also mental strength is something that is often underrated, but anyone who is trained and or wrestled professionally knows that there is nothing quite like the mental strength you need to get through a long, strenuous pro wrestling match. So I'm opting for metabolic conditioning style workouts. They're all sub 20 minutes, but they involve high intensity, high output, giving it 100% from start to finish. Before we go on, we should probably address the elephant in the room. I got new tees. You can pick yourself up one of these beauties at my big cartel via the link above. These are the single-sided designs exclusive to my store. If you want a double-sided, head to wrestlermerch.com. So this one's called the Centurion Workout. Why is it called Centurion? Sounded cool. I don't know. What do you want from me? And it probably has something to do with the fact that there are 100 reps per exercise in this workout. We're gonna go through three exercises today. Three times 100 is 300 reps. And that's half of the 600 workout. So if you thought I was a bad guy, think again. So the three exercises today are air squats, push-ups, and frog sit-ups. How you do them is completely up to you. There are no restrictions. Some people might like to break them up into clusters of 20 reps and just rotate through the exercises until you hit your 300th. Uh, some people might like to target the harder reps first and then go to the easier exercises at the end. I don't know, I'm not your dad, do whatever you want. Starting off with air squats. So these are very similar to our Hindu squats. The only difference being we keep our feet flat to the ground don't need to brush the knuckles against the ground either. The knees and the toes facing slightly outwards so that our hips can sink down deep. Next up with our push-ups, pretty conventional push-ups. Just watch out for the thongs on the ground. There you go, champ. Make sure that your elbows are not flaring out to the side. That absolutely kills me. Elbows tucked in as much as you can, hands slightly outside of shoulder width. Final exercise is frog sit-ups, otherwise known as butterfly sit-ups. These are very much a CrossFit friendly exercise. We keep our feet together, reach overhead, come back up and tap your feet again. I do find that these keep your back a little straighter so they could be safer. Uh, but if you are concerned about uh, safety and back health, then feel free to go to a crunch instead. My abs are pretty cooked from yesterday's workout. So I'm thinking the sit-ups might be the hardest and I'll probably put those first and try to knock out as many as I can. And then when I reach failure, I can pump in a set of push-ups or knock out the, the squats, which I know I can probably do in higher repetitions. I don't know, there's probably a good strategy for this. I've never done it before, so today's all about learning. And I'm gonna put my time, of course, in the description and also up here so you can compare yourself to me. If you do beat me, Please don't post it in the comments because I will delete it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, please let me know how you went. Let me know what you found more difficult. And what I see as the benefit of these challenge style Metcom workouts are that they, they require you to set goals. So if you get a time of so-and-so minutes, next time you're going to try to beat that score. Or perhaps you can try to get more reps in a row before reaching failure. Remember, progression is the key. If you do not progress, if you're doing the same things over and over and over, your body will adapt and you will see less improvement over time. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of these conditioning workouts and other World Beater Wrestling episodes. Enough chit chat from me, let's get to it.
Okay, that was, uh, that was good. Definitely nowhere near as difficult as the 600 workout, obviously. And if you haven't checked that one out, please give it a go. That was a real corker of a, uh, of a sweat session. But no, this was a good finisher. I would suggest using this at the end of your either weight training workouts or your pro wrestling workouts. Just a real quick finisher to challenge yourself or put it in your warm up if you want something quick or you're strapped for time. Uh, there wasn't a lot of hitting failure because you had the option to move to another exercise before you did. So I think I, I think I found 40 reps at the start was a, a slowing point for me. So I moved on, moved on. And then I think I hit 20, 20, 20 after that. So yeah, fingers crossed I hit 300 in total. But uh, I like workouts like that where one body part can rest while the other one's working. That way you're working at a maximum power output for the entire workout without any rest, which is generally very, very appropriate for what we do in pro wrestling because we often don't have the opportunity to rest. So give it a go, time yourself. As I said, any progression is good progression. See if you can progressively beat your score as the weeks go on. Give this post a like, comment below, let me know how you went, what you found difficult. Challenge some mates, and I'll see you next week for the next episode of World Beater Wrestling. Peace. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.